What is up, Turbos and wrestling fans? This is Steve Turbo with a quick apology. That's right, everybody. This video is an apology video. I have to apologize for a video I made a few months ago talking about Broken Matt Hardy and Brother Nero. So at this time, the, the Broken Matt Hardy gimmick had just debuted in TNA. Uh, they had just released like the contract signing between Broken Matt and Brother Nero. And, you know, I, I, I immediately was like, okay, what the fuck is this? What is this nonsense? I, didn't, I don't really get to watch TNA because I don't have cable at my house, so I have to kind of keep up with it through snippets and vignettes and whatnot. So I didn't fully grasp what the broken Matt Hardy gimmick was about. But I saw the, the, the poor quality, I saw like the, the weird camera angles and shots, and I didn't get at that time that that was part of the gimmick. The, the gimmick is supposed to be a so bad it's amazing type thing. It, it, is, intentionally, it is intentionally bad, quote quote. I, after watching the final deletion, after watching Delete and Decay, and watching all of Broken Matt's stuff since that contract signing, I can now safely say that I was so wrong about the Broken Matt Hardy gimmick, and I now think it is one of the absolute best things in wrestling today. That's right. So, Broken Matt, if for whatever reason you listen to this, please... Please take this as my most humble apology to you, sir, for not appreciating your broken brilliance sooner. I was ignorant. I was not wise to the ways of Broken Matt. I, I did not listen to the gospel of the broken book. The seven deities had not blessed me with the intelligence and the comprehension that I needed to appreciate such a beautiful, amazing gimmick. Like... This is just so amazingly fresh. Like, watching this now versus when I first saw it, I, I just, I can't get over how fresh it feels because I feel like nobody has ever done this. It truly feels unique. It doesn't feel like a stereotypical wrestling gimmick. It feels amazing. It feels absolutely amazing. And just, I find myself coming back to TNA strictly for Broken Matt. Like, that guy, he he is just a treasure. He, he is like, the Broken Matt gimmick is so brilliant. And it, this comes from my, and, and it's another reason that it's so ironic that I didn't see it earlier. It, 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 it's just amazing because I love corny B-movies. I love movies that are bad and they know they're bad. And I love that. That's that's part of the charm of those movies, is that they are made to be bad. The person who is making it is aware of this. And that's kind of the deal with the Broken Matt gimmick. It is so absurd and campy and corny that it is brilliant. So it is just this wonderful, unique, fresh, hilarious, interesting, intriguing, like, there's this large amount of lore behind the Broken Matt character that Matt himself has come up with. If you go back and you listen to the Talk is Jericho with Broken Matt, you'll get to see all the little intricacies in this gimmick and the world he has built around Broken Matt, Brother Nero, Rebby Sky, Senior Benjamin, Vanguard One, King Maxwell. Like you, you see all of this. You, you, you appreciate how much has actually been put into this gimmick, and it's just—it's amazing. It is truly, truly an amazing thing. Like he has really spent a lot of time working on this gimmick and building a world around it and making it a completely, truly unique thing. So that's what, that, and that's where I was wrong. I did not see enough at the time to appreciate what Broken Matt is all about. And, uh, and like I said, I will happily admit that I was wrong. I was wrong and I deserve to be deleted. I deserve to be deleted for I am just, I am just obsolete. I could not, I could not see the broken brilliance right away. 
But after listening to it all, watching Delete or Decay, watching the final deletion, you know, it's just, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. Like, I love this gimmick. I love it, and I just, I needed to make this video as a response to my previous video, Worst TNA Segment Ever, and say that that is part of one of the best TNA series in a very, very long time. Because it was also at this time that I was blaming the production value of that video on TNA. I wasn't fully aware that Matt Hardy had full creative control over his character. So this was his brain baby. So I thought this was TNA's doing. I thought this was some crazy, bizarre shit that TNA thought up. But now that I know this was Matt, and I know how him and Jeff are, I know how creative they are, I know how artsy they are, I, you know, it gives me a fonder appreciation knowing that. So, uh, you know, again, you know, this carries over to, um, you know, their in-ring work, uh, what they've done in turning, you know, Jeff Hardy, who is no longer Jeff Hardy, he is now Brother Nero, and it's just, it's fascinating. It really is truly fascinating, and this is, in my opinion, I think the best the Hardys have ever been, um, just because of just how amazingly over this gimmick is, and this is someone who grew up with the Hardys. I mean, I watched the match where Kane basically just buried them before they, they, before they were like the true blue Hardys, they were, you know, just, Jeff and Matt were wearing neon pants and tassels. That's, I've grown up with the Hardys. I grew up in that era. So it's just, to see this now is amazing. And seeing these guys still being relevant, it's absolutely incredible. Like, I, I just love the Broken Matt gimmick. And I couldn't be more happy that I was wrong about this. But I needed to clear the air and let all of you know that I no longer think that it is... It is a garbage gimmick. I, I think it is amazing. I now have a fonder appreciation for it, and I absolutely love Broken Matt and the entire world he has built for Broken Matt and the the, the rest of the uh, the the Hardy uh, the Hardy estate. We'll say. So guys, that's all I wanted to do with this video. I just wanted to really uh, nail the point home that I was wrong about Broken Matt. It's a brilliant gimmick. It is amazing, and I deserve to be deleted for my insolence. So, thank you all for listening to me ramble for seven minutes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and tell me, what do you think of Broken Matt? Let me know in the comments section below. I think he's fantastic. Let me know, I wanna know. And if you like me, even after my insolence to the Broken Brilliance, go ahead and subscribe, won't you? Subscribe, unless Matt, unless Broken Matt has my channel deleted.